Hi guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Lars and in this video I'm going to talk about why I choose to come to Romania. Okay, um, the reason for it is very simple. I didn't get in, that's it. I didn't get into medicine in Germany. I applied for it once, I think it was in 2017 when I finished high school. Right after high school I applied for it for about six or seven different universities. I don't remember exactly because it's been already three years since I did that. And yeah, uh, I didn't get enrolled. And actually it's not only me, there are quite a lot of Germans here in Romania or not only in Romania, also in other European countries because it's very competitive in Germany and also under federal restriction. So there's a certain amount of uh, uh, places which you can apply for and once uh, these are booked out or once these are taken, um, there's no more room for other students. And to get one of these is quite difficult, even if you have very good A-level grades or if you do some extra work besides just finishing your high school diploma, like doing some social work or uh, working in the hospital prior to your application. All these things which could be recognized uh, to your application. So that's why I came to Romania. So simple as that. But I actually never thought about coming to Romania because if you grow up on a small farm somewhere in the south of Germany, Romania is not on your radar, like we say in German. Um, not sure if it's the same saying in English, but I would have never thought about coming here and that's the, the thing behind it like at some point uh, during high school I had uh, serious issues with uh, tinnitus and then I was seeing a doctor for this and he, he kept asking me yeah what do you want to do after high school what are your interests and uh, what are you doing like right now what are your hobbies and I told him everything what I was doing that I'm like interested into sports and fitness and health and that I did a personal trainer license and that I'm interested in physiotherapy and uh, things like this but uh, he was like Nah, don't do this. I mean, it's it's not a bad thing to do physiotherapy, but your interests fit like perfectly for medicine. And uh, at this point, I never really thought about doing it. Uh, it was just not uh, in my within my uh, horizon <laughs> because I knew that my high school grades were not that good at this point because honestly if you don't know what you want to do after high school it's quite hard to motivate yourself to yeah, write good grades because you see no reason for doing this and I was like yeah I mean it looks cool it's interesting but there's no point in trying because I will have like 2.5 2.4 in my uh, high school average and I need at least 1.1, 1 1.2 uh, to get admitted and he was saying that uh, the son uh, of a friend of him uh, went to Romania before I think, yeah, uh, it was in Timisoara actually and he said try to apply for Germany and if it doesn't work out just uh, go to Romania it's much easier to get into medicine there. There's, honestly, it was quite simple. Um, there are less restrictions. You need to have a, a language certificate and uh, 
your high school diploma needs to be handed in and uh, I think that's pretty much it uh, yeah and so that's how I came up with the idea of going to Romania and actually I tried to apply for other universities because he was telling me um, that he also been to Timisoara and it's like the uh, cultural city of the European Union 2020 and it's a very nice town. Unfortunately I haven't been there so far but I'll definitely go there one day. I'm very curious how it looks like and yeah then uh, besides Timisoara I also applied for Cluj and for Turgomurish and all of them except Turgomurish denied me and that's how I came to Romania and now I've been here for over two years and it's quite nice here I like it unfortunately I don't speak any Romanian yet but I hope within the next couple of weeks months whatsoever it's going to get better especially now in the third year as we start with the uh, clinical training in the hospital it should definitely get better with my Romanian so yeah that was the quick story of how I ended up studying medicine in Turgomorosh Romania Maybe, if you some, maybe you have some kind of questions you would like to ask, like what is it like to live here? What do you think about Romania? Can you recommend coming here? Which I definitely can. Uh, yeah, just uh, let me know, write it down in the comments, leave me a like, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.